takes to do the design and then how long it takes to do the whole thing. And at some point I'll be able to figure out what the design is going to do and then the whole thing. You know, I've been working in these side pools in this area for 15 years. And uh, you know, my main concern has always been human impact. So whether that be non-native species or whether that be uh, human visitors. So I've done a lot of work on, on human visitors. So like I said, this site here, it's a high amount of people that are coming here. And they're trampling on things, they're handling things. Uh, some people collect organisms or plants and take them back home. And we're all concerned with, well, how do we protect these type of habitats? You know, these habitats that are heavily impacted by people. And, you know, we all recognize that we want people to come here. We want people to care about these areas. Um, but at the same time, we want them to do, uh, visit them safely and, and to be able to enjoy this habitat without ruining it at the same time. And, and sometimes that's, that's difficult. Everything out here, I don't think that they can reproduce awesome little fruitive magnets. Oh, we don't want to take advantage of it. And you'll see at the end that there will be stuff kind of floating around. Right. Okay, so today we are, uh, removing um, the non-native seaweed from the tide pools and then we're also going to transplant surf rats. Uh, so right now they're, they're uh, taking out the biomass, taking out the whole pass, and then we will try and find some surf grass that we can pull off of the rocks and be able to move into these tide pools. You know for things like this algae that's in the tide pools, it sort of makes this canopy over the top of the tide pool. And what I think happens here is that that canopy actually uh, ameliorates the impacts of, of being exposed to the air. That you know the tide pool doesn't heat up as much, uh, the salinity doesn't change that much, all because this canopy is there. Uh, so if we remove the canopy, then the tide pool might heat up more, it might change its salinity, uh, you might have changes in oxygen and those types of things that might negatively impact the native species. So actually one of the things that we're going to look at is um, trying to replace that non-native canopy in the tide pools with a native canopy. So I'm moving over uh, surf grass, which kind of floats at the surface too, um, and trying to see whether, first of all, whether that will be successful, and second of all, whether it will sort of mimic the, the canopy behavior that this non-native is, is providing.